You know, speaking of party, today is Cinco de Mayo, and in honor of the occasion, we are joined live in studio by Jose Velasquez, who is the general manager from El Torito in Cyprus. And you're here to show us how to make guacamole. I mean, that's ever, I mean, who doesn't love guacamole? Everybody loves guacamole. <laughs> so, but there are different ways that you can actually make it. Definitely. Okay. So, before we actually start the guacamole, I mm -hmm. want to let you, and I actually want to invite everybody to the biggest party of the year. So, okay. we're actually going to be kicking off our fiesta at 3 p.m. Now, mm -hmm. we're going to be having uh, live music. Mm -hmm. mariachis we're also going to be having DJs uh, and we're actually extending our patios uh -huh. so that all everybody who wants to come in from the okay. community can go ahead and enjoy okay. right uh, we're also going to be having some food and drinks to uh -huh. start off here we have a uh, queso dip mm -hmm. it's a mixture of cheeses and we mm -hmm. all we actually put some chorizo in there mm -hmm. and top it off with some pico de gallo and cheese uh -huh. next to that we have some craft handcrafted made to order tacos now the tortilla mm -hmm. here is handmade and we actually add some cheese and guajillo on there well, I was wondering about the color, color. Mm -hmm. yeah that's why that's so, the cheese mm -hmm. and okay. the guajillo so okay we also have a bunch of toppings and mm -hmm. corn cake and beans for anybody mm -hmm. to enjoy uh mm -hmm. we also have chips and salsa of course you can't go to a cinco de mayo celebration without any <laughs> no chips and salsa, you right? can't you can't fun fact our kitchen is actually made from scratch so everything here we got to make get here early and cook everything up so we can have it ready for everybody. Really? Everybody. All the chips from yeah, scratch? All, the, the salsa. The salsa. Oh, oh the salsa. salsa. Okay. So okay. Uh, we're actually going to be having some um, quesadillas, some nachos. We actually have a, a special little Mexican twist to our uh, mm. french fries. Those are called our papas calientes with our nice creamy red pepper dip on the side. Okay. Um, and if you are ready, we can actually get yeah. started to make our guacamole. Yeah, this is for folks who aren't going to make it out tonight or maybe for another weekend. I mean, you don't have to just wait till Cinco de Mayo to have you some good guacamole. Definitely not. So I'm going to go ahead and add some avocados here. Now, now is there a, a trick about the ripeness of the avocados when you're making good well, guacamole? Well, honestly, you just got to make sure that it's not too hard. You got to okay. make sure that it's nice and soft so mm -hmm. you can go ahead and mix everything together. The harder it's going to be, then it's going to be harder to mix all yeah. the ingredients together. So if you actually don't not mind, go mm -hmm. ahead and grab this and go ahead and add any tomatoes. Uh, go ahead. Just a whole here? spoonful of tomatoes. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Just one? Oh, one more, actually. One more. If you can go ahead and grab some onions. Uh -oh. ah. Let's see if I can get this here. I'm gonna use the two same scoops. Spoon. Yep. Two scoops? Yes, please. Okay. You can add two scoops of um, cilantro, please. Now here's uh, the question of the day. How spicy do you want it? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm kind of... Uh, I like it mild, but I know I'm not alone here, <laughs> so I'm gonna make sure it's good for everybody. So perfect. Let's go ahead and add some serrano peppers on here. Okay. And as spicy as you like it. I'm just gonna do one. Perfect. We'll go ahead and add all of our ingredients together. Mm -hmm. Now the next step is we're gonna add all of our seasonings there. Okay. And what do you have in this one? Actually, that's a secret. Oh, okay. I can't just quite sprinkle it in there. Yes, okay, please. all of it. All in there. Thank you much. Okay. And last but not least, mm. we gotta add some lime on here. Oh, okay. Gonna you just squeeze that. Squeeze it all in there. Mm. And mix it all up. Would you like to give this a try? <laughs> I well, mean. I don't know if I should do that on air, but I'll definitely do it uh, during the commercial break. Perfect. But is there any mistake that people commonly make when it comes to making the guacamole? I would probably just say just don't add too much salt. Some people okay. don't like it too salty. Uh -huh. But I mean, when you're at home, you're going to be making it on your own. So you can add a little bit, taste it out, and then go ahead and go as you go. Yeah, and you've got to have that lime. I think that's oh, the... Definitely. Yes. 100%. Not good if you don't have the lime. Well, there's a lot of fun happening today, and we certainly appreciate you making time because I know it's going to be a busy day for you. So thank you so much. Uh, and for more information, of course, you can go to our website. It has all the information about what's happening at El Torito. Just go to our website, kcal9.com, and click Scene on TV.